done with you yet! You hear me? Think you can come up in here and do what you want? We gon' take it! Barry! Tifa! Get your ass back up! Now! Chopper's gonna chew you up! Still alive and kicking? Damn right! Leading man sticks around to the credit roll! Though we gotta keep moving if we wanna make it that far. You ready? Yep. Personal, bitch. Confirmation. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Coming right up. Yeah? No, you don't. Not when I'm working. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Press it. You ain't got shit on us. Huh? <laughs> 
Come on. Let's teach him the first two step. What happens when you mess with the Turks? If you're gonna pick a fight with the Turks, you better be prepared to leave in a body bag. That is the cocky now. Give it up. How do we stop it? Ancient. 
Anybody out there? Barrett! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody here hear goes. me? And push! It was us. We did this. No. 
You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. The hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> and she did? You sure? Hey, where are you going? How could this happen? I didn't really think that... What the hell is going on? When is hell going to happen? This wasn't an accident. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey Tifa, know anything about Ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. Nothing. Let's go. It's like there's a hole in the sky. 
Chocobos are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Wait. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Found him? We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar. Yeah. Biggs, too. Let they were through, both in Let pretty bad through. shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. My ears are still ringing from it. This is Sector 5, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on. Let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shh. Hmm. 
<laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient, is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. about 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <sighs> no! Go away! Hmm. 
Aerith, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the Ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the Promised Land. <clears throat> Some believe the Promised Land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like, checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So, how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows us stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. I swear, I'll never get gunfire at the My ears are still ringing from it. This wasn't... This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Over there. We 
make a decent team. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot. Think you can stop me? Let's 
Drag it out. No need to be, really.
Come on. Just give up. 